This Cassie Van Arun and the Trisha hybrid, the flower is going to open tonight. This one is a Trisha pollen pollinated Kathy Van Arun. So Trisha is a father, Kathy Van Arun is the mother. So tonight later on, I'll take a look when they open how it looks like. From the same plant, you can see the boar flower bud coming out. This is a this is a seedlings from last year. It's really great. And also I found something else. Here, I found another flower bud. And this particular one, you can see the following up here, is going down to this guy. You can see the grafting side is on the, on the side, not on the center of the uh, rootstock. This is a from toothpick grafting methods. I updated it a couple times, so I'm going to show some of the updating at the end of this um, video. And uh, this is from the same, it's the same brother and sisters with the other Kathy Van Arun and the Trisha hybrid. And this one is uh, grafted on a short rootstock. And you can see the after climbing all the way to the top and uh, the branching out three branches and um, they flowered in the almost the same time as the trailer's top grafting. So this particular hybrid is really very efficient on putting out flowers. So I'm very excited to see uh, how this one compared to the other one. This the, from the fruit should be similar because this is brothers and sisters with the other one. It just a um, couple, maybe one month later than the other one. Oh, there's another one. There's another flower, but it come from the same same uh, grafting from from same this one going up three three branches and two of them. Oh, there's one more. One here, one there. And once a one here, this is the biggest one. So even grafted on the short rootstock, they also um, flowered, putting out flower pretty fast. This is last year's seedlings. So um, when it's getting dark, I'm going to take a picture of the opening flower from the trailer's top grafting uh, branch. Okay. Okay, this is the flower of the hybrid. From the color, it's very, look very much like a Kathy Van Arun. But the flower seems it's much bigger than Kathy Van Arun. It's the same size as the Trisha, but the color are Kathy Van Arun's color. It is an F1. Only the dominant feature will show. So this pink color must be dominant. See, even the stigma looks exactly like uh, the Van Arun, not the Shisha. Compare the flower bud right before opening from the hybrid to both their parents. You can clearly see that the, the shape is more look like a Trisha compared to Casey Van Arun. Casey Van Arun is kind of straight, don't have the big head. And um, both the hybrid and Trisha have the big head, but the neck area, the hybrid is clearly shorter than Trisha. So they are kind of in between the KC Van Arun and Trisha. If you compare the opened flower, you can clearly see the color of the hybrid is the same as the KC Van Arun, but very different from Trisha. That's because I said that before that the pink color must be uh, dominant. But the flower shape from the hybrid, they look similar to Trisha, not the Casey Vienna room, because Casey's flower petal seems to have shorter, uh, less number. But the, the hybrid has a full flower, has a longer and the wider petals compared to Casey Van Arun, but similar to Trisha. So in both the flower bud before opening 
and after the flower open, the hybrid seems uh, have the feature of uh, combine the two parents, which is very interesting, I think. So this concluded the comparison between the hybrid to both parents. I'm going to update when the fruit is uh, harvest, and I can compare the color, fruit flesh color, and the taste between the hybrid and the parents. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.